Hi, I'm Dr. Kim Sage. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist. Welcome to a little daily dose of love on ways that you can just start to shift one little thing, someone's honking, in your life. Today's video is really an important one, and it is this. If someone had to describe the energy with which you show up in the world and said, Kim's energy is, but you're saying it for yourself, what would that be? And is there anything you'd like to work on about how you show up with your energy, like your warmth, your rigidity, your compassion, your judgment? Like, what is the vibe, maybe that's a better word for today, that you give out in the world? And I know we have different vibes for different crowds, right? There's a vibe with my kids. There's one with my patients. There's one when I'm in the supermarket. There's one when I'm at the mall, right? But it's really important to really question kind of the most in terms of those. What is the energy or vibe you bring into your own family? I know that for me, you know, and for most of us, our brains are actually wired towards negativity as a part of our survival. And so it's really easy to focus on all the things that we hate, that are annoying, that we don't like. And it's really easy to bond over kind of like bitching about things, right? It's really easy to do that. And there's nothing wrong with that, but we can get stuck in that. I've noticed a lot of people can be very judgmental or passive aggressive. And that becomes the way the whole family communicates. It's all sarcasm and jokes and minimizing. And they, that happens then in that person's friendships. And then it, they, even the friendships can get stuck in that. And you know what? Like a little bit of that is fine, but a lot of that doesn't feel good. And I'm reminded of someone that we know that I feel like every time we see them, actually there are two people through my children's lives in the, in the circle that... Um, the moms are super, super negative. And it's fine, except for that's just how they always have shown up over all these years. And I found myself in the beginning like, you know, yeah, we could like maybe talk about some stuff that was hard. But what I also found was that it was just such a buzzkill and so like, ugh, to always be like that. And then even worse, I think important to look at your energy is if you're like that, and let's say you're not good at reading the room, and so you are a person living in a very blessed life with what seems to be a lot less stresses, it's not necessarily a good idea to take your negative vibing energy and complain to people who have a lot less than you do. It's one thing I would always teach my kids, it's like read the room, right? When it's like somewhat similar, it's easy. I'm not saying you can't always complain to your close friends when your life is blessed. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying be, be mindful of it. What is the vibe, the energy that you bring, and who are you bringing it to? And um, if you want to change it, what would it be? For me, I have to sometimes remind myself, like, okay, it's not necessarily a vibe, but it's like, what kind of mood am I in? What am I bringing up, right? And so I have to be mindful of, oh, I was kind of negative in the car today with my daughter. Like, I don't really like that. I don't really want to do that. I don't, I'm not even in a bad mood or something. It's just like she brings up something, I bring up something, and the next thing you know, you know, we're down the road of like everything is terrible. And that is not normally how I am and want to be. But some days and weeks and months and years are hard. So there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm just talking about mindfulness here. A lot of these videos are just about being aware and then not being harsh on yourself when you can't get out of it and you're just in a bad place. There is nothing wrong with that. But sometimes it's about perspective and about saying, I, I'm giving out this energy or maybe I'm giving out a don't talk to me and don't, you know, my arms are closed, I'm looking away, but I don't necessarily realize that and I want to make friends. That doesn't really work, right? So it's things like direct eye contact and, you know, face to face with people. There are physical and nonverbal ways that your energy shows up as well. So maybe ask yourself, like if someone looked across the room and saw you in a relatively safe environment, what do you think they might think about the vibe, the energy, the nonverbals you're giving off? Do you like that? Are you okay with it? Or would you like to shift something? And maybe you have a lot of really good reasons for why your energy is so bad and you're in a bad place in life. And like I'm saying, that is completely fine. But at some point, you might not want it to be like that all the time. And you might want to work on shifting it. And so if you did, what vibe or energy would you like to more often than not try? Try to bring into your life and into your relationships. Many of us didn't have any parents that modeled any of this kind of stuff. We're just trying to figure it out. 
And so that it is. That's it for today. It's just like, what is one thing you could do today to become more aware of your energy or vibe or to shift it? Just one thing. Feel free to let me know in the comments down below and let each other know. As usual, thank you so much for being here and I will see you tomorrow.